Uh, now, uh, let's throttle through uh, the stories for a thrilling half hour. Uh, now, uh, Prince Andrew, uh, calls are growing, or pressure is mounting now on King Charles to ban the disgraced Duke of York from the traditional Christmas uh, church service at Sandringham, uh, because last year, of course, we saw him join his family as they traditionally marched down that path and say hi to all the royal fans. Uh, but so this year... Surely he cannot do this because uh, this scandal, uh, his association with Jeffrey Epstein, has reared its ugly head again uh, insofar as 177 of Jeffrey Epstein's associates uh, will be named in court documents that will be unsealed in the first days of the new year. What a wonderful New Year's present for us. And over Christmas, when we get drunk, we can all play the game of who's going to be on that list. Bingo! It, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, 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 but it's, it's going to be a very un or a tense Christmas for a lot of people. Now, uh, we know uh, several people who are almost certainly in the frame. Alan Dershowitz, the famous uh, US lawyer, uh, insisted on himself being named because he said there was nothing wrong with his relationship with Epstein. Uh, now, uh, we've read at great length uh, his association with uh, former presidents uh, Donald Trump and Bill Clinton. Will they be named? Apart from that, we must not speculate. But 177 powerful VIP people are going to have a very nervous Christmas. But Andrew will be named, we know that, and uh, it will dredge up his nefarious relationship with a convicted paedophile, and that will heap more, even yet more embarrassment on the royal family, and uh, Charles, I think, may have to do something about that Christmas Right, Day the service. ghosts of Caribbean Christmas past exactly. will be coming back to uh, haunt Prince Andrew, it seems. And, do you know, I can't wait. This is exactly this sort of gossipy tittle-tattle, well, you know, come more, through. It's a bit but more than that. It won't be gossipy tittle-tattle anymore. Well, that's the point. It will be the more than manifestation that. of the truth. There's nothing we like more than that. Yeah, and by the way, this the, the, these court documents, Virginia Giffray, of course, who... Prince Andrew paid paid twelve million dollars uh, because he was completely innocent. He paid uh, twelve million dollars not to take him to court, even though he is, of course, completely innocent. Uh, why did he give her twelve million dollars then? Uh, and uh, uh, she, the, she also sued Ghislaine Maxwell, who was, of course, Jeffrey Epstein's girlfriend, stroke uh, right hand woman, and uh, she won that case. Uh, but all these uh, names were mm. enshrined in the secrecy of the case. Uh, the judge, uh, has, uh, under pressure from media organisations, has said, well, there, actually, there's no reason in a free country like America for these names yeah. to be uh, kept under wraps. So he has said uh, all names to be revealed. As they pop their corks of champagne... They won't the be, though, will they? Like, open the Pandora's box of scandal. Yeah, but, but those people will not be popping the champagne <laughs> this Christmas. Let's move on. Uh, a yet another uh, by-election yes. nightmare uh, for Rishi Sunak after the constituents of the North Northamptonshire... Uh, uh, constituents are, what's it called? Wellingborough. Wellingborough uh, voted to eject Peter Bone, mm. the MP who uh, was found guilty by a uh, parliamentary investigation of bullying his staff and also uh, inappropriate sexual behaviour. Uh, so he denies all of that, but he's been found guilty by the investigation. Uh, he's going to have to step down. There's going to be a by election. Uh, and uh, there was a massive Tory majority there, there was Alex. Really but that's going to be overturned, right? 62%. Tory majority compared to compared to 25%, I think, Labour had last time round. Very Brexity voting constituency. I mean, this relates to allegations that uh, he bullied and sexually misconducted himself more than 10 years ago, including exposing himself on a business trip after booking him and his aide a shared room, putting the bone into the name Peter Bone, some might say. But, um... <laughs> is that too early in the morning for that? But, uh, but it's and really And also, 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 let's remember Mr Bone uh, vehemently denies this. He does vehemently deny it, but that's not saved his skin. And I am sure that this is going to be very interesting, because we know it's a general election year. Rishi Sunak has confirmed that the election will be next year. Mm. We probably assume around October. It could be as early as spring, mm. the traditional time to hold a general election, but it doesn't have to be. But this is going to be a window, really, of what the general election might look like. And if another party happened to beat the Conservatives down into third place, 
Yeah. Well, that really would be a, a very fascinating political story to set the tone. Yeah, for indeed. Yeah, that's going to be a fascinating by-election. Uh, but meanwhile, uh, some decent news uh, at long last for poor old beleaguered uh, Mr Sunak, our Prime Minister for the time being. Uh, inflation has fallen. He's, uh, mm -hmm. at, he's actually, drum roll, pop the champagne. This is a real reason to pop it. Inflation, he's hit his fl inflation target. It will right. be, uh, as he promised, uh, halved by the end of the year. Well, so that's even better than expected, to, It's fallen actually. to 3.9%. I mean, what's uh, pushing this down is actually the cost of certain food products in the shopping basket. And second-hand cars, apparently, they're um, starting to sell very well again. I suppose ULEZ has probably pushed that one uh, into, into the foreground. And, uh, and also, don't, don't forget, the, 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 Bank of in, the Bank of England raising interest rates. That's why well, it's happened. So this isn't... So Really, suggest the Bank of this England is, has done something this isn't, right. Uh, this isn't uh, much to do with Rishi Sunak, but trust me, he'll take the credit.